Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls. The plan for today is we are going to continue exploring through the Dark Root Basin, which is where I currently am, to pick up a couple more of the items, as well as, after doing that, return to Dusk to pick up a couple of items that I actually... Oh crud, I forgot about these guys. I'm going to pick up for... A, ow. Let me not get myself killed real quick, and then I will continue talking. I completely forgot that the one, the one-handed is the really wide swing. There we go. Okay, not dead. Good. Then to return to dusk to pick up a couple of things that I'll be using later on in the run. And then I need to remember how the heck to get to the next area in the game. I don't really remember that. Oh, by the way... This is this is the only place, or one of the only places, this thing he is here. It doesn't do a whole lot. However, what I can do is... I just killed a tree. Congratulations, me. Hello, Dark Daedalus. Glad of you to join me, as always. And now... Also, these, this is the only area where these guys are located. <laughs> okay, uh, hmm, okay. Apparently they can phase through the ground. Good for them. This is the other... Soul tree. I, I don't, again, I don't really know why it's there, but it is. So let's see, this is basically just a wide open area. with a couple of things hidden about. Let's see if I remember where everything is. Hello, scan lines. How you doing? Oh, look, there's another player. Hi, player. How you doing? All right. Here's big thingy number one. Alright, this is the first item. If you are feeling gutsy, you can try and make that jump. I'm not going to do that. Then we ragged all this guy. He's coming with us. Oh right, the ring, the ring, the ring. Ring, 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 ring. I technically don't need to wear this for now, so... Well, which rings what? Ah, okay. No, I heard something. Ow. Let's kill this guy before I continue trying to talk. I was trying to show off an item description, so please go away. Thank you. Right, anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, well, the special rings granted to the Four Knights of Gwyn, the wolf ring belongs to Artorius, the Abyss Walker. Had an unbendable will of steel and an unmatched with a great sword. We will be seeing Artorius at a later time. It, he, heck, he, he's the name of the DLC, Artorius of the or, uh, Artorius of the Abyss was the DLC name. By the way, yeah, this is this entire area. This is there's not a whole lot to the basin. Now, if you remember, uh -huh. if you remember the ladder that I pointed out as I killed the Hydra, I can take that and continue on to the another area to another boss. I'm not actually going to do that though. I mean, sure, it saves me 20,000 souls, which, you know, quite a bit. But the reason I'm not going to do that... By the way, this is the entire Dark Root Basin, so I'm heading back up now once I... Yep, nothing there. I'm not going to actually go fight that boss just yet because of the simple fact the boss ties into the DLC. It's not a part of the DLC, but if you complete the DLC then go to the boss, you get a special cutscene. 
Because of this, I'm not going to take the shortcut to get the to see the boss of that location. I'm instead going to let's see. I just completed this section. So now we'll want to return. Actually, remember, I got that ember. Let me let's return to the dude row first. Dude, dude, bro. Uh, I don't, I don't even remember the name of the blacksmith. Andre, Hammer Dude, whatever. The guy who's really awesome, who sells us the 20k thingamajig. Hello, frame rate. How you doing? Actually, you know what? I'm actually kind of wonder real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Can I use a big, bigger weapon? By uh, the Zweihander, I believe, is considered an ultra great sword. Yep. There's the great sword. There's ultra great swords, and there's curved great swords. The the sword that I'm that I use, the Gravelord sword, is considered a curved great sword. This is an ultra great sword. It's also probably not as nowhere near as powerful. Yeah, 130 versus 291. I'll stick to the rapier as a piercing weapon for now. The, the ember that I got from the moonlight butterfly. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I can produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Yeah, in this game, there are multiple blacksmiths, and each one uses a different type of ember. This guy is divine, and I th and one other kind I don't remember. Uh, the dude in New, New on Orlando uses magic. So we'll give them this. Thanks, but you've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. Yeah, so now I need to upgrade a weapon to a to uh, like a normal weapon, like say the Zweihander, to plus ten before I'll be able to actually upgrade it. What so we seeing you there. Yep. So we talked to him, gave him the ember. Good for us. Continuing on, we now need to head back to Firelink. Let's level up. Um, let's see, there we go. A hundred stamina. That's what we were looking for. A hundred stamina is the soft cap, so we are good there from now on. Now we basically just need to focus on vitality so I don't die so easily. But I might put one more point into stamina at least... Because so, I really hate having a... I, I don't like having decimals. I don't want a decimal of my on my weight capacity. Alright, I completely forgot that I needed to go to dusk. Huh. Oh, sweet. Uh, hmm. I know the reason I need to buy... I want to go to dusk. I want to buy a couple of things from her. Namely... Her spells. There's two spells that she sells, that rhymes, that are actually incredibly useful and something I typically tend to go for. The Cast Light and the Fall Control are two very useful spells. I could go up there, but not yet. As I will be heading there in the future, just not quite yet, as I'm... well... Do you have anything new to say? Oh, middle. Nope. Come again. Start off. As by going by uh, a series of co a couple of jumps, when I head up the ladder, if you fall off and make your way to that tower, ooh, nice lighting effects, you can return to the asylum to fight a boss and grab a couple of items you can't get elsewhere. All right, let's talk to this dude. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. 
Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? Yep. You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> well, isn't he just a heartfelt wonder? Okay, so yeah, now, I, I believe I remember where I need to go. I could be talking out my bum. That happens a lot. But yeah, that is the purpose of the ring. You don't stagger when you get hit as easily. And given that I'm using a... I'm using... Ow. Light armor. Not, you know, taking damage or not staggering when hit is helpful because I don't have any poise. All right. So now, I've, I've, I hope I picked up the key. Otherwise, this is going to be kind of annoying. It should be at the end of this place. I was wrong. Okay, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now I need to remember where the hell I need to go. <laughs> Cause I could've s I could have sworn it was there, ev evidently not. Um I'll I'll head let's head to where we I guess fought the dragon, maybe? Yeah, I'm basically ignoring that guy because of the the fact that I can just heal. right here. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's head to where the dragon was. Okay, which would be up here. You know, I've probably had better plans. Damn it. I'm trying I'm trying to see if I can get up there before the Okay, that's not gonna work too well. <sighs> okay. Well, I can punch on a ladder, that's good to know. Still don't know what the hell that is. Was it here? No, not there. Yeah, one thing you mind. The humanity that I've gotten thus far has all been from, well, killing these guys. Once you kill a boss, the uh, you no longer get the soul or get humanity from killing things. So it doesn't matter how much I, I try and farm these guys now. I will no longer get humanity. Ow. This is unfortunately one the one part of Dark Souls that I'm not 100% on. I could go down there. In fact, I probably will. Because there's now no longer a Havel to fight. Gonna ignore the guys above me. I do apologize for not remembering where the hell I need to actually go. 
Well, my, at least my memory sa served me well up until this point. Is it? Ah, there we go. Haha, -ha, I was right. I could have sworn there was a slide down the ladder mechanic. Okay, I, I get it. Hmm. Oh well. But anyway, this was the location I was looking for. Yep, here we are. Now I know there's ah okay this is what I, this is why I was having trouble rem or why I misremembered. There we go. That's why I was re remembering incorrectly, because you need to go up to the tower where you fought the Taurus demon to use the basement key to access down here. Hello, Framerate, how you doing? And now you're gonna see. A really some real annoying enemies in the form of these doggies. But now I have the shortcut here. But yeah, the, the hitboxes on these guys is so freaking weird, which is why they're paying the butt to fight. With any luck, I won't need to fight them more than once. That's not liable to- Help me! Unlock the door! I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Hi, dude. Oh, look, it's another dude just like the blacksmith. You'll learn why. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, hello. Bes Okay, yeah, so anyway, that's a guy, he's also from Vinheim, much like the blacksmith. Oh, hello. Oh, I, no, I don't want to talk to you, I'm trying to grab the item. There we go. Yep, he's in there with a corpse. Don't know why. In fact, I don't even know how he got captured. No, okay. Alrighty, there we go. That almost got really bad. Okay, lock on. Thank you. Now, the main problem with Dark Souls 2 happened to be more, well, yeah, the hitboxes kind of had some very funky issues, and they love and they love to have uh, auto aiming, or enemies turn on a dime to hit you. This game luckily doesn't have that. Oh, many problems in compared to hitboxes. But anyway, let's see, is it over there? No, one of these one of these doors opens up. There we go. Okay, so I was sort of right. Yeah, these are thieves. They can backstab you. They suck. Sort of like the Boulder Knights. They have- they can enter a parry Dance, where they will then basically insta-kill you if you don't have an incredibly large amount of HP. Which I, unfortunately, do not have. Right, I believe there might be something in... Okay, not there. Ah, here we go. Mailbreaker, crappy 
stabby thingy. I am kind of surprised, though, that the game seems... No, I, I remember DS Fix fixing a lot of these stutters that I'm having. Maybe I have one of the settings incorrect or something. I don't know. Because this game did have a lot of stutters... ...that happened in the normal game. And DS Fix is supposed to fix those. Well, that was a terrible th attack. There we go. So anyway, well, that's cool. We are about to enter what is known as... Hold on a sec. See if I can just cheese them through a door. Dangerously cheesy. Uh, hmm, okay. Anyway, we, I am about to face the Capra Demon, who is one of the worst bosses in the game, because... Hey, look, I found my armor. Uh, something almost hit me, but where? I'm hearing them... Oh! What the hell? I've never, never seen that before. Eh. Okay. Well, we'll let that person just sit there. That is where the boss is. We're not going to head there just yet. Because... Haha. Uh -huh. We're ignoring the boss just now because... I mean, I guess it is entirely possible that the mod doesn't work. Yeah, they can't go there just yet has some issues with Steamworks, perhaps, considering this was made for game... If this was... the last update was when Games for Windows Live was the Tour de Force for Dark Souls. So I guess that is entirely possible. Okay, he's... It's down. So what I'm doing is I am unlocking... Can't go up there. Another shortcut. This is... that's the shortcut. This is the merchant. So, yeah, she doesn't sell a whole lot of interesting things. I mean, arrows, yay. Bolts, yay. And sh this is really her only purpose, is if you don't have any transient curses, you can buy a couple off of her. Outside of that, whatever. Well, let's talk to her, see what the person with the really low volume in her voice has to say. This is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, no moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life, but now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. Well, as long as you find enjoyment, I guess. You've come to this land at a bad time. There are nothing but hollows in these parts, save for me, of course. You're undead too, aren't you? You be careful then. <laughs> Ah, go down along the side to reach the depths of the undead bird. Only uncanny crooks and lions to be found there. Hardly a place for a lady like myself. But who knows? Maybe you'd fit right in. <laughs> you come to this. 
All right. Yeah, she is kind of crazy, but that's totally fine. All right. So anyway, go down this long passageway to do. There, now we have a shortcut directly to Firelink. Actually gonna return and rest so I can get 10 Estus Flasks. Can I seriously not hit the stupid rat? There. By the way, if you're desperate you can farm that rat for humanity. Yep, she's definitely the sort of always look on the bright side of life or on death, as it may be. Ow. Oh, I thought you were, you, you'd be dead. There we go. Oh look, and it's our buddy again. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides I owe you. Talented? I have freaking twelve intelligence, I'm dumb I'm as a stump. To teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Alright, so he sells basic sorceries. Oh wait, I need 15 intelligence, that's it. With 15 intelligence, you want... I want 15 intelligence so I can get this, which has some applications later on in the game. And then I'll need to return to Dusk to get Cast to Light, because that will also have some uses later down the line. And these are also pretty decent if you care to buy them. You can also find them in the game somewhere. I don't remember where, though. Have you heard of Big Hat Logan? Master Logan is a great sorcerer and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead. But one day he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose he wished to keep me out of harm's way. But where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery. But Master Logan could find no use for me. Logan's also kind of frickin' crazy, as you will find later on in the game, too. Ah, uh, yes. The note that Master Logan left. It only said he would travel to Anolondo by way of Sen's fortress. I can only guess that he seeks the regal archives. For Master Logan is a tireless pursuer of wisdom. Wisdom trumps all. Everything else is hogwash. When the curse turned him undead, I'm certain that he only felt it was the perfect chance to visit this land. I only wish that I had his courage. Well, maybe if you weren't such a sissy, you would. Two things are required for sorcery. First, you must equip a wand. Second, you must attune a sorcery. Then you will be ready to fire away. Oh, and don't forget to aim. Two things. Yeah, okay. Then... So, he came to Slam looking for his teacher, Logan. And Logan is somewhere in the game, and he already told us where. He's in Sen's Fortress. Because all undead in this game need our help, because they're all incompetent psychos like Lautrec, right here. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> Not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> By the Lord, your face. <laughs> your humanity is really slipping. But there are methods. At least I don't hide my face Most like certain someone's right here in front of me. They know what to do with. Now, who do you imagine will make the best use of it? Mm -hmm. Anything else? You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. 
Oh. Yeah, you can probably guess. He's a bit of a jerk. Now, what you could do is if you didn't care about the storyline, you can just kill him right there and he won't retaliate. But what I'm doing is I'm letting him live to do his dishonorable deeds simply because I want to, well, show it off. Oh look, someone died here. How'd you die, buddy? Uh, I didn't pay attention. How'd you die? Uh... Okay, he... <laughs> of course. Uh... People always seem to die by falling off that way. Alright, anyway, boss time! Well, okay, first, rat time! Rat clip through the floor time! Alright, I fully intend to die, expect, I shouldn't say I intend, I never intend to die. It just sort of happens that way. But anyway, now it's time for the boss. Of course, first things first, I have to make my way back to the boss first. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Anything to drop? Nope, nothing dropped. Alright, so th that is the shortest pathway to the boss, with the least amount of resistance. So now that I'm back on track, prepare to watch me get my butt kicked, because... Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Psych up. Psych myself up. Psych- I, I don't really have a psych up animation that'll have to do. Let's go. Hi Capra Demon, how you doing? Bye. Crap. Yep. Ah, uh, kind of figured. Yeah. 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 That's the Capra boss. You have to hopefully get around them so you can try and kill them, or you can have your stupid weapon decide to not work appropriately and get you killed. I obviously went for the latter in that arrangement. Okay, you know what? I was trying to be nice here. And... There. Oh, crap. Whew. That almost got really bad. Anyway, so yeah, that is the Capra Demon. He is known as probably one of the worst bosses in the game because he's frankly kind of unfair. And the entire reason he's unfair is that little rush. You, if you can get around the three-pronged frickin' attack that happens... He's fine. He's really not that difficult. But the fact it's two dogs and him all blocking your path, that's what makes the fight kind of difficult. I didn't mean to swing. Oh hey, I can actually, actually uh, block that. Huh. Cool. Anyway, alright, back up. Try again. Be wary of left. Thank you very much. What the? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, crap, my souls aren't here. Well, here we go once again. Please give me my souls. Souls got. Fall on me? That makes. I... What? I don't think I've ever had. That's never happened to me before. I've. I don't think I've never been killed by him just like frickin' falling on me like a chubby little jerk. That is certainly interesting, to say the least. I don't agree with the game's assessment. Ooh, hey, item. Yay, battle axe. But... Oh. Okay, game. Okay. You're the boss. Well, I love how... At least that rat knows how to phase through the world. Good for him. That was that was certainly an interesting experience. Hopefully my souls won't be that hard to get as I uh, re try, you know, get back. What does it say? Try right. Okay, good for you. Okay, let's try that again with less getting fallen on. Which is what I guess happened. Ah, crap! And there went my soul. Oh, no, I'm not dead yet. Huh. Oh, well, that's a good thing that I didn't end up dying there. That would have really sucked. I must- I more want my humanity than my- than my souls. But, wow, that was... That was something else, let me tell you. Okay, heal once again. Head to the boss room, hopefully not get fallen on. Okay, let's... Okay, um... <laughs> I broke him! Sort of. Okay, well, we're back on track this time. There we go. And if you've noticed, once again, I didn't get a ball soul. I got... There we go. I was wondering where all my souls were. Go were. I didn't get a ball soul. I got something completely different. Once again, we face this guy later in the game as a normal boss. Or normal enemy. Alright, that's one boss down. On to the next. I wonder if... Do I need to lower the gain on my microphone? I see it peaking a bit here. I honestly wasn't paying attention to my volume levels. I made a couple more tweaks because I'm trying to get a clearer sound. So I'm not... I'm, I didn't run any actual tests before I started streaming today, after I changed things around, because I'm smart! If I need to lower the gain or anything, just let me know. And now we're in the depths where we're gonna face the owl. 
next, or make our way to the next boss. This area is sort of maze-like, as you might expect. Say it sounds fine. All right. But we will probably be returning to Firelink because there is a dude here that I need to find. Also, there is a butcher. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Alright, so now I need to find a guy here. He's in one of these side rooms. First, I have to clear these guys out. Oh, look, more dogs. Oh boy. Okay, he's dead. Good for us. Aw. He's off he don't he also doesn't respawn. I think he's the only one who drops a very specific item. Yep, we got another item to use. Right, so. Down into the pit. We oh, thought I would have taken fallen damage. Eh, oh well. Okay. By the way, big freaking rat. He has an axe literally lodged in his face. I remember this area as I act I actually was foolish enough to come here as a human, and this was my very first. Dark Souls PvP experience. I came down here as a human, I got invaded, and the guy who invaded me had an Avalon, which is one of the best ga weapons in the game that you can't get near the end of the game. As well as all sorts of other equipment that I could not, that I would never have at my level, and that soured me for all eternity when it comes to Dark Souls PvP. Especially in this game. Alright, so anyway. What's that? Oh, but I am not going to play fair. The reason I'm not playing fair with this rat is because it has 100% armor piercing. So even with a shield, it would just kill me. So to avoid anything like that, I'm cheesing the poor rat to death. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't very fair and it was why I hate... Pe one of the many reasons I hate PvP in Dark Souls. But anyway, so now we went there. We killed the rat. Now, if you're feeling gutsy... That, by the way, that's why we wanted to... We dropped it down first, was to get that key. If you're feeling gutsy, you can actually run down this path and jump, and you're right at the boss of this area. I <laughs> am not going to do that. I'm instead... Oh, right, another thing. If you drop down there, that takes you to another section. There's a lot of areas here with sections you can drop down. And if you drop down them, you get taken to another area. With a lot of enemies just waiting to kill you. Yeah, the only time I enjoy multiplayer aspects of games is when they're, you know, either working as intended or it's not filled with cheap things like 
being to have the best gear in the game at level 1, which you then use to kill everyone else without hope of retaliation. Right, so, uh, there's another channeler. Oh crap, I thought... Oh, phew. <sighs> okay. I think I just went the wrong way. Huh. Okay. That's the boss arena, by the way. We'll be going there in a little bit. That's what you get. By the way, Chandlers are non-respawning, so you can't farm them for their gear like you can a lot of other enemies. Actually, yeah, I'm at the friggin' uh... I'm like right at the boss arena. Actually, yeah, I am at the boss arena. Or, okay, no, I'm not directly at it, but I'm really close to it. But I don't want to go to the boss arena just yet. I still have exploring to do. I'm out of healing items. Well then. Go away, rat. Oh, right! These guys. Uh, say hello to the slimes. Slimes are really hard to hit. But, they're a good source of shards, if you so desire. Alright, uh, let's see. There we go. Did I... Oh, I, already, I was already here. Okay, uh, back down here. I said, this place is a labyrinth. Sort of, anyway. So now I'm going on memory how to navigate without getting killed. And I'm hoping I can find the frickin' bonfire. Is this... Yeah, it was just here. Okay. I'm hoping to find the bonfire so that I can restore my Estus. I'm not really going to need it for the boss. But, it's still going to be useful. Now, this place is the first place you can get an NPC invasion. If I was human, I could get invaded by a dude called Kirk Knight of Thorns. He looks really cool. He's not, oh crud, incredibly hard to fight. But because of the aforementioned invasions that can happen in this game, you aren't guaranteed to get him before you get a player who will most likely kill you without a problem. Am I... at the location... Oh! Hello! Yes, I am. That's... that's where you get the... that's what you use the key that I got from the slime. You get it from that place. And then there's this, which uh, I'll need to get around to get to. So we'll return to that later. Oh, I have four humanity, by the way. That's awesome. So anyway, we went down, we killed the rat, we got the key, we used the key to open this. Now we have our Estus Bask. Boop. Also, now we can use my souls. Oh, wait. Oh, is it? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe it's 110 stamina. Huh. We'll put it there for now so I can put points into vitality. 
Then I need 15 intelligence pretty soon. I'll need to start going towards that. Um, can I upgrade any of my equipment? Stronger rapier, okay. One thing I should probably do is uh, buy a bunch of shards to level up my rapier and perhaps my armor as well. At some point, anyway. By the way, if you look up, there's a bunch of these guys, so just run on through, and... Oh look, they're now all on the ground. Right, so... Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, they're not really much of a threat. But they do kind of hurt. And again, the main purpose of... If you ever want to farm large Titanite shards, this is effectively the place to do it. I don't really need them, because I don't have any equipment past level 2. Also, green titanite shards, which I don't remember what those are used to level. Anyway, so you're wondering what to do here. Well, this is actually the intended path. There's also a couple more surprises waiting for me. Okay! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Dodge. Heal. Hit with sword. I said hit with sword. I said hit with sword. You you are doing the exact opposite of hit with sword. Which is not hit with sword. There, hit with sword complete. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by getting sludge on my face, this was the intended path for me. Because you were supposed to go down the little wall, or go down the little... the place where the butcher was. Oh, you're back. I thought you didn't respawn. Oh, you're someone completely different. God! And my controller didn't want me, didn't want me to dodge, so... Okay. Well, that sucked. Okay, let's try that again with less uh, getting killed by a butcher. So, run through here again. We're not going to turn around and kill those slimes. They won't be able to reach me anyway. By going to the left, we avoid the slime. And now hopefully we won't get killed by the butcher. Again, due to my hub hubris. Alright, butcher, come on. I have to kill you now. Get over here. Oh, I can backstab you. That works. Hi. Aha! Anyway, this is the important, this is what you want to return to. Like, anyway, if I went, after I killed the butcher over there, you go down this water, which you can then go up this little crumbly thingy, and come over here, where we go. Oh, look. You. Yeah, yes, you. Here, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Oh, look, there's a dude in a barrel. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive. I started to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. 
I am Laurentius, or the Great Swamp. I will not forget my death to you. So this is a Laurentius. He's a cool dude. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Anything? Oh, hello. Oh. Anyway, he'll return. He'll head to the Firelink Shrine. But anyway, that's really all that was over there. So now we, well, head towards the boss. Which I will need to then drop down into a place. Hopefully I don't have a whole crap load of sludges waiting for me. I have a whole crap load of sludges waiting for me. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why am I counting? I don't know. I guess I'm just making sure I actually remember how. There we go. Alright, so now we make our way over here. I need to, now I actually need to drop down. Well, I've had better plans. Oh, come off it. You'd think a... S Why the hell wouldn't my... You'd think my sword or swing would be a lot more... There. I really like the running attack of this thing. That wide swing's great. And you'd think this rapier would be better for stabbing these little guys. Anyway, that is the importance. You, if, if you want, you can farm these guys pretty easily with the... Where's my... Here we go. You can farm them pretty easily with a wide swinging weapon. And it's easy to get humanity from them as well. Humanity, when used as an item, heals you to full HP no matter what. As you can imagine... That's really good. I missed my attack, because of course I did. Ah. Uh -huh. Alrighty, which way? Come on, rat. Don't you... Okay, you didn't fall down. Good. Because I'm falling down. Whee! Whee! Okay, so, by the way... Uh, statues. Statues are never a good sign. Statues mean there's basilisks. In fact, there's one right there. Now he's dead. Now, these basilisks... If you don't peeve want to PvP and you want to level up the Ravelord Covenant, you would kill these guys down here. They are the only enemies in the game who draw Eyes of Death. Now again, I'm not going to actually level the Ravelord Covenant. Mostly because I, again, it's completely useless if you are only going to use the sword. It's only useful to, it's only useful to level if you're going to use the sword miracle. But as I'm not interested in the miracle, the sword's fine. Hi, rat. Hi, rat. Okay, I found my way to the boss with out actually full exploring that area, so we're gonna head back. 
Wait, no, this isn't the boss. This is the next section. Which I believe has the boss area located nearby, I think. But first things first. Now... Shortcut! Right, let's head back to the area I just was to continue exploring. I think there's a couple of items I might have missed. Because, well, yeah, obviously I did because of that. I already pointed out the statue. There's some basilisks right over there. You can imagine just how many people have fallen down a hole, gotten attacked by basilisk, and then instantly died because there's act the the biggest death trap when it comes to basilisks. Nice try, buddy. Actually has you surrounded by like four of them and they instantly jump up and do that attack on you. Which, as you might imagine, sucks. Alrighty then, let's see, what? This is shit! Oh. That actually kinda worked. Right, Ring of Evil Eye. Very useful indeed. It, every time I kill an enemy, I get some life back, which, as I tend to get hit a lot, will be incredibly useful. There you go. <sighs> okay, that... That was surprising. <laughs> that surprised me. Oh, hi. Oh, there you are. This is the area I just told you about. Look, there's three of them right there. Literally, right here, right here. Three of them. They're... not very... smart, unfortunately. But if I was human, and I fell down here, and then walked the corner, I would be invaded by Kirk, Knight of Thorns. But again, I'm doing this completely hollow, therefore I don't have to worry about him. So let's do this without falling down again, shall we? Let's do that again without falling down, shall we? I'm not leaving without that item. Give me the friggin' item. Thank you. <clears throat> God dang it. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not good at navigating. Okay. Okay, I I strat I went past the the lot the, the uh beam boss, so now run jump! There we go. Okay, good. Yoink. Eh. Having extra humanity is always good. Alright, so now, I'm actually going to go to the boss with only one Estus Flask. You say why? I say because the boss is easy. Which means I'm probably going to die now that I said that. I also need to remember which way I'm going. Uh, the boss, okay, hello. The boss that I'm about to fight probably has one of the best boss designs in Dark Souls, in my opinion. Oh, also, we have another friend. 
Aye, so I. And good day to you. I'm Don of Xena. I'm just a, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Anyway, yeah, this dude, well, for one thing, is Welsh, for some reason. Also, this guy's unique, and what he does is he sells boss armor. When I start fighting the humanoid bosses, this is the dude I buy their armor from. Hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade of anyway. So I'm willing to share some tips. If you see kindling in the catacombs, use divine weapons. That will repair the reassembling skeletons. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Hmm. I... But anyway, yeah, he gave us a pro tip of use divine weapons to kill skeletons for good in the catacombs, which, as you know, I went there and ran like crazy in order to get the Rave Lord sword that I'm currently using. So before we head down there into the boss arena, we will first not be able to pass something we should be able to pass. And then we will go around this corner and... see a bunch of messages. Now, if we were human, we could summon Solaire and Lautrec for this boss. The boss is unfortunately incredibly easy, therefore not necessary. But again, the boss looks cool, so yay on that front. And in case you are wondering, let's see, once again you just want to make sure you run around, make sure you check all the equipment or all the items and stuff. Here we go, boss fight. So I hope you are prepared. For giant gaping tooth vagina dragon. So, yeah, this is... There we go. So, Giant Gaping Tooth Vagina Dragon is not that difficult. Because th th this is all he does. He does that slam. He will rush forward. And then you just run away. Yep. So he has a really good design, it's just... Ow. Like, he has a really good design, but the problem is he's not a hard fight in the least. Like the entire thing is, now, the only thing you really don't want to do is you don't want to try and get any hits in when he's in this form doing this, because just Bumping him will deal a crap load of damage to you. In fact, I'm just gonna heal a bit. 
Yeah, what the hell indeed, I concur. But I guess we can congratulate him on being the first boss that has actually caught need made me do something beyond crap F to the first boss to survive more than one attack string with the brave lord sword going yay armor And... dead. Blight Town Key. Twin Humanities. Yeah, for some reason he is a boss. We don't see him as a normal enemy or anything. But he doesn't give us a boss soul. <coughs> Woo! Didn't manage to mute my mic in time. Sorry about that. But yeah, we get our soul. We got a bunch of soul. We got a bunch of souls. We got a key that will let us continue on to Lag Town. Because honestly, Blight, Blight Town's gonna be freaking terrible. I mean, Blight Town's a freaking awful, awful place. How the hell do I get up? It's like, if you think this area is laggy in Dark Souls, wait for Blight Town, because oh my god. But before I do anything, am I going... I think I'm going the wrong direction. No, I'm going the right direction. Okay. That's where we need to go. In fact, we're going to open it up, and then I'm going to go spend my souls. Light Town Key has been used. Yay for me. I believe we can talk to him, and he'll go away now. Oh. Okay. Well, that is a shame. Yep, nothing from you. Also, by the way, I got a new axe, a, the axe that I cannot use because, I mean, one, yes, it hits like a truck. Like, seriously, that's a lot of damage. I also need 50 strength to use it. This axe, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by the tail of the gaping dragon, a distant and deformed descendant of the everlasting dragons. This the axe is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held with both hands. It's a really big strong axe that no one ever uses because it doesn't have an, it like most dragon weapons has no scaling so it's powerful but unfortunately it gets outclassed and the fact you need 50 friggin strength holy hell anyway we are heading up now to teleport on top of a box I don't recall that guy being over there, but whatever. Alright, let's level up. Actually, can I upgrade anything? No, I cannot. Okay, level up. Said 15 intelligence, because I'll need that 15 intelligence for the spells that I'm gonna need later. Let's see, do I want strength? Or vital? I'll go with vitality. What the heck? What's that guy doing down here? Huh. Anyway, time to show off why Blight Town sucks, and why everyone hates Blight Town, and anyone who says they like Blight Town is a liar. Because the only people who like Blight Town are liars and crazy people. That's a slime. That's a rat. As a humanity. Like, the main problem with Blight Town is entirely the fact that it's Blight Town. It's laggy as hell. Ow. Screw you, rat. And really, it's just not a fun place to be. Like, the majority of it is at a high 
a high elevation, so you die. You can fall off and die with a single misstep for a very large portion ahead. And you know we're officially in Blight Town when my frame rate will drop to like 10. Because even with DS Fix, it can't fix the frame rate of this horrible, horrible, horrible location. That's the first new enemy we face. He is an undead giant. And at least he dies in three swings, so thank you for being so easy to kill. Alrighty, there's a lot of hidden passageways with a lot of e a lot of items that we're gonna want, including a katana that I this is if you don't kill the merchant like I didn't do, then this is the earliest you can get a katana. Oops. Come on. Ow. Ow. Oh yeah, by the way, these guys poison you with every hit. And they drop dung pie. Because of course they do. I forget if you can loop around and backstab these guys. On, well, I'll have to test it out on this guy. Cannot. Or I can get stuck on geometry. That works. Okay, I can backstab them. Good. Okay, they're not that bad. I can backstab them without much, that too much of a hassle. Now it's time to get bum-rushed by whatever the hell these things are. Well, thanks for the spear, I guess. Alright, so yeah, I need to get down here in order to get some items. Like right there. Okay, this is the only item over here. Huh, eh, okay. Yeah, lag and precise movement is why Blight Town is the bane of... Ow! Shit, I forgot about those guys too. Also, snipers with uh, poison. These guys are one of the main reasons why you want to farm... If you remember when I said farming the uh, farming the dudes in the Dark Root Basin was important, these guys are why. Moku these Mokujin jerks. Luckily, they die easy and they don't respawn. But those Mokujin freak freaks are evil, like really frickin' evil. Because they are incredibly accurate. Oh, right. Lag, precision movement, and moving bridges. Whew. And this is the item I'm referring to. Like, that is a really, really good weapon! Screw you. Alright, so, to basically make this jump, 
you want to make sure you lower your weight as much as possible. What weight am I at? 4.5, so... Alright, super fast movement. So, alright, you see this. You see this right here. This little thingy right there? That little hole thingy. I need to get on that to make this jump. Oh, hey, I'm a lot. I'm... <laughs> or, the, or else that happens. So, yeah, that's a really good weapon that uh, I completely failed to get. See, it doesn't really matter which of these I put on, so... Uh, yeah, welcome to Blight Town. <laughs> Like that, we the weapon that I'm trying, that I'm showing you, trying, well, that, that I was trying to get, I should say, is the Ito blade. It is a really good katana, and again, the earliest one you can get if you do not go for the Uchi katana. And like that instance, the instance right there. Actually, I can, yeah, I, I completely forgot. Ah, crap! I'm an idiot. All right, you know what? Yeah, no friggin' what? We're heading back to the. We're heading back to the bonfire because I completely forgot that I gave myself fifteen intelligence. I can't believe I friggin' forgot this. Bloody hell! I am an idiot, but this is common knowledge. Anyway, so we need to put back, put on the sorcerer's talisman or catalyst. Sorry, attune magic, fall control. There now. There we go. That's basically what the entire purpose. It will make it so I'm not, I don't die or lose ninety percent of my health when I fail to make that jump. Now what I'm gonna need to do is, uh, this is also kind of why I need to head to Dusk of Ulaseel, because her catalyst weighs 0.5, and since I'm only using a catalyst to cast two basic spells, it means I really don't need a heavy one, or one that's meant for offensive purposes, because the her catalyst is crappy for attacking, but it's perfectly fine for these utility-style spells that I'm going to be using. Alright, so let's backstab these guys. And we're going by, and we're going for the Ito once again. This time, so I can show off the. Okay, you managed it for yourself when I was not looking. Anyway, let's uh, 
We have to clear our path once again. Making sure no one else decides to join the party while I'm killing the chubby guys. That path in is more like it. Well, at least killing these guys is easy enough in the form of two swings. Really? There. Yay! Alright, you're coming with me, buddy. Alright, let's... Well, let these guys come after me. Hopefully the guys below me don't decide to, ow, join up, jump, and try and meet me up here. Alrighty, let's try this once. Oh, there's still another guy. Alrighty, let's try this again. God! But see, but look, fall control. Fall control. That's why that is important. I took no fall damage from that height. And this is also kind of why this place sucks. Like, oh look, an item. A very useful item. On a section of incredibly small platforming. Or small ledges. And now, well, I'm gonna I need to remember how the hell to get up to the Ito platform. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh hey, there is a way to slide down. Sweet. Alright, so now I'm basically just going to be very, 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 very cautious. Oh, by the way. Boink. Can I level up? Yes, I can. I wonder, can I get... Ah, perfect. 12 attunement. That'll be useful again later on. Why am I getting something prepared for later when I can't do it right now? I don't know. Alright, so let's head back. Well, okay, let's just do this, actually. Fall off. Thought I saw something to grab, or to pick up. Alright, so this, by the way, this sucks. Every time you hit a new section, the bridge sways. Screw this place. <laughs> Hi, dog. By the way, dogs suck. All right, so now I need to get down here to grab that item. I believe. Yep, there we go. Okay, careful. Oh, there's no way over there. Okay, huh. Uh, 
Uh, huh. I could have sworn there was a ladder or something over here. Blech. Okay, fine. Back this way. Okay, uh, yeah, alright then. Back this way. I really want to find out how the hell the, the quickest way to get to the Ito would be. Well, anyway, we've, we're at, at, if nothing else, we're now at the bonfire. Those are dogs. Ah, ladder. Dogs can't climb ladders. You're not very convincing, by the way. As I'm now in very cautious explorer mode. Ooh, item. Hi. Oh, sh you son of a... Screw you, buddy. You son of a... No. <laughs> and he fell and died. Well, uh... Yeah, there's also falling platforms, because of course there are. Okay, let's try that again with less having a jerk make me fall down. Here it is. I'm pretty sure that's the way I need to go, but I don't want to go there just yet. Let's see, I walked over here. I had a moron jump on me right there. I hear you. Uh. Okay. I was about to say, do ladders confuse you? Or maybe he just knew I was going to hit him in the face. There you go. Thank you for your patronage. What's this? Uh. Oh, right. This is another. Let's just be cautious here. Oh, I didn't need to roll at all. Alright, the ninja suit. It's actually not as good armor-wise as my current set of armor. But it is the latest armor set in the game. Unfortunately, because of the fact I'm not human, I look kind of silly in it. Oh, crud. Uh... How the hell do I get someplace safe? Is there a ladder? There's no ladder. I can fall down, though. Oh, hey, an item. But anyway, I'll probably be using the Shadow Set for a while. I mean, it doesn't have amazing armor, but until I can find something, that was completely useless. Oh, crap. Uh... Okay, maybe over here. 
Oh look, an item. Oh look, a dude. With dogs. Oh, that'll be useful. Uh, hmm, I, where are they? Maybe they'll lead me to a, hmm. Or they can fall off and die. That works too. I guess I could, well, actually, yeah, I can just do that, of course. Well, I have those wood dudes spitting thingies at me. Did I just see something fall off an edge? Again. Seems even the NPCs don't know what to make of Blight Town. Okay, that's the bonfire. That's all well and good. Where the hell's the ladder? Here it is. Okay, I think I'll make one more pass at the Ito. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, those, the NBCs didn't have fall control. Yeah, they should definitely consider getting it. Okay. So now, the path to this isn't that difficult. But let's see. Come off it! Oh, shit! <laughs> And of course, I land in the one spot, the one frickin' spot. Ah, <sighs> video games. So getting to where the I getting to where I need to go, if I want the Ito, is now fast enough. It's literally just this. Well, provided I don't screw up and get killed, that is. Are you seriously gonna... Okay, good. <sighs> Figures that I miss, the... I land on the one spot. Oh, come off it! Yeah, fall control. The two the two spells that I'm going to be getting, fall control and cast light, are two very important utility spells. There we go. Thank you. Finally, Ito. Now I can show it off. Are both are two very important utility spells that don't have super high requirements that are very good to have. So now let me show off the Ito. Here it is. Dang it! I thought I'd... Okay, it's not going to look that good right now because... Oh, actually it looks the exact... Uh... It does look, or the effects aren't uh, any different than what you normally see. But yeah, this is a pretty decent weapon. It's pr it's actually the best dexterity katana because I believe its its uh, parameter bonus goes up to act to S once fully upgraded. So that's really important. It has really good reach, especially in that. It's nice and quick, like a katana. If I had the actual parameters to use it, it'd be even quicker. And... 
It has a little bit of everything for everyone. With a stab and a slash and all that fun stuff. So eventually I'll probably be able to use it effectively, but for now, eh. But okay, I am... It'll take me a little bit of time to get to the bottom of this horrible, 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 horrible place. So I'm going to call it here. And next time, I will continue with Blight Town. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, while I cut my own leg off with a giant sword.